Hey, what's happening folks? I hope you guys are doing well tonight. It's Tuesday night and I'm over here at the light table. I haven't made a video in over a week. I was on vacation and I was just kind of chilling out, relaxing, and having a good time. I got to see some of my friends out in New York and I really enjoyed myself. I even picked up some more consignment stuff and I'm hoping to get that stuff listed soon. I've got a little bit of a space crunch going on. I've been taking in quite a bit of stuff. And I haven't been listing too much of it, and it's starting to accumulate. I'll probably start working on some of this tomorrow. I did not go to the thrift store, haven't been in over a week, but I did go to the dump. My friend Tom called me earlier and said he had some stuff for me to look at, and he wanted to know if I wanted to go to the dump. And I said I did. And I also wanted to bring his cap guns over to him too. But before I went anywhere, I had to shoot over to my dump. And I did pick up a few gems over there today. I found this cryo cuff thermos over there today. I also found one of these at the Salvation Army last year. It was in the free box. I ended up listing it and I think it sold within a week for 25 plus shipping. So I'm hoping I can get 25 plus shipping for this too. I also got this vintage heating pad. It's from Sears. It looks like it's probably from the 70s or 80s. If you guys remember, I recently sold one of these. It was like an orange color. It sold for 30 plus shipping. So I'm hoping I can make a few bucks on this. I got this Thermacell mosquito repellent. It also has a sealed container of refills. I think I might be able to sell these for about 30 to $40. When I was looking over at the DVD section, I saw these three Wii games sitting there. It's a copy of Mario Kart. There's a Game Party and a copy of Mario and Sonic Olympic Games. I think the Mario and Sonic might be worth about 12 bucks, but the Mario Kart, I believe, sells for about 25 I also found this vintage American Camper Pack. I believe it's probably from the 70s or 80s. It's lightweight. It has an aluminum frame. I saw a couple listed for $50 free shipping. I didn't see any that actually sold. There was a similar one that sold, but not this color. If I could get $25 plus shipping, I'd be happy. Through all this excitement, there was a Pyrex glass percolator on the shelf, and I meant to pick it up, but I forgot. I'm going to go back Thursday and hopefully it's there. That was all that I found over at that place. Then I went over to Tom's house and we met. And then we shot over to his dump and we found a few gems too. There was a whole lot of stuff there today. It was packed full of junk. One of the things I found today was this vintage Miro cookie press. I'm not sure if it's complete, but it looks like mostly everything is there. And it looks like it's in decent shape. I think these sell the best during the Christmas holiday. I saw this nice Warren blender sitting on the shelf. I've sold Warren blenders time after time and they always do well for me. This motor right here, it's a little bit grungy. It's got a lot of pitting and rust. But I usually sell motors like this for about 25 plus shipping. Sometimes I'll take a little bit less, but they always sell. It came with this clover jar. Unfortunately, there was no lid with this. Uh, both Tom and I tried to find it, but to no avail. I just sold one of these recently for, I think it was like 15 plus shipping. They don't sell for a lot of money, but they do sell because people break them and it's a quality glass. I found this Henderson Bible. I don't think it sells for a lot of money, but it was in the free media section. It looks like it's in decent condition. It does have some issues, but I'm hoping I can sell it for about 20 bucks plus shipping. This was a fantastic find over the dump today. I'm not sure if it works. I'm not sure if it's complete. I think this little handle might go with it. I'm not exactly sure. I've never seen anything like this before. It's called, I guess, reed pleaters. I guess it's a smock gathering machine. The reed smocking machine. I don't know what a smocking machine is. But it comes with some instructions. It looks like a seller recently took a best offer from $199. I'm not really sure what that offer was, but I'm hoping I can get at least $150 for it. I also found this vintage Pelham puppet over at the dump. Uh, this particular one is a Walt Disney item. And I believe this is Donald Duck, and it's one of those uh, dolls that dances with the strings. It looks like it's made in England. It looks like they can sell for decent money. One recently sold for $189. But there's also one that sold for $69.47 in English money. And it had the box, so I really don't know. This box is in pretty nice shape, so I should do all right. This might actually go into my collection. I don't know. Although it'll probably get sold because I'm running out of room for my collection. When we were looking around, Tom found this in a big box full of like miscellaneous DVDs and whatnot, and he didn't want it, so he gave it to me. I do all right with these. I don't sell them a lot, but I usually just sell the replacement discs, and they take a long time to sell, but it's okay. 
sometimes they sell for like eight to ten dollars so not a whole lot of money but they do sell and you can send a media mail I also saw these two coffee scoops sitting on the shelf one's a Quasin art I can usually sell like two of these for like eight bucks free shipping so not a lot of money but it puts a couple bucks in your wallet I also found this Rachel Ray olive oil pourer you could probably use any kind of oil you wanted to and it'd be alright I found one of these at the Salvation Army once and sold it for like eleven dollars plus shipping so I figured this would be a safe gamble that was pretty much all that I found today over there I could have got some more stuff that I could have made money on but it was getting a little crazy and I already had a van full of stuff and I just didn't need it anymore so I decided to do a little passing today. When we got back to Tom's house, he showed me some of the items that he recently got. Whenever Tom finds like cameras and electronics that he doesn't want to mess with, he usually just sells them to me and I do something with them. So I found a few things today and he sold me all this stuff for 25 bucks. I got four packs of Epson ink. Looks like it's black and it's uh, yellow, magenta, and cayenne, I think. Tom said they sell for about 15 bucks, so we'll just throw them up there and see what we can get. I also got this Franklin Dictionary Thesaurus. They don't sell for a lot of money. I think it sells for about 15 to 20 plus shipping. That's if it works. Hopefully it works. Hey, what do you know? He also threw in this vintage Parmesan grater. He said that when he saw it, he thought I would definitely want it, and he was right. I think he's starting to get a really good eye for vintage. It's got a really nice look to it. I think it was probably made in the 60s, maybe 70s. It looks like a similar one recently sold for about 17 free shipping. So that should do well, hopefully. It's made in France. I also got this Canon camcorder. It's an original cassette camera, and it's got a bunch of accessories in there. I'm not really sure if it works or not. I'm going to have to test it, but if it does work, it looks like these can sell for about 50 to 60 bucks. He also threw in this bag of Apple routers. There's a total of five routers in there. I'm not sure if all of them have the power cables or not, but I've sold these types of things in the past, and they do okay for me. I'm not sure how well they work. I'm just going to plug them up later and see what kind of connectivity I can get from them. I've only ever found those a few times in the past, and I've certainly never found a bag with five in them before, so that's the kind of luck Tom has. He's always finding really, really cool stuff. He found a pretty awesome guitar recently, so this guy finds some gems, too. I really enjoy when we can hang out and hit the dump and find all these treasures. It's a lot of fun for me. I think also in ways it's pretty therapeutic. I brought those toy guns that I found at the yard sale and that Jesse gave me over to Tom and he was very appreciative of it and what he wants to do is when he gets some time he wants to straighten out his wall put all his guns on there and he wants me to record all of it just for like a you know just to show you guys you know his little collection of uh, toy guns I really didn't get a chance to do any filming today because we were kind of running a little bit short on time. He specifically asked if I would say thank you to Jesse for the toy cap guns. He really likes those and also the cables and the camera and all that cool stuff that you sent. I appreciate that as well. So big shout out to my boy Jesse. Anyway guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and get this video edited and I'm going to try to get some of this stuff organized. What I really need to do is get these toy cars off of my light table and that's not going to happen until they're photographed, listed, and boxed. So that's pretty much where I'm at right now. I have an influx of merchandise but I can't stop because it's been good and I can't really slow down because there's a lot of good stuff out there. But anyway, you guys have a great night. We'll talk to you later.